Madam you Vice President. You and I both know what I'm talking about. You and I both know what I'm talking about. I actually about. don't. What are you talking about? Kamala Harris sat down with Fox News for nearly 30 minutes, and now everybody is losing their minds. I do want to talk about a couple absurd reactions I saw to this. Uh, for example, one <laughs> annoying tweet from somebody uh, named Yvette Nicole Brown. She writes, at Brett Bayer, would you have interrupted any other vice president of our country the way you rudely interrupted and tried to talk over Kamala Harris, asking for every woman in America? So I did think that at times Brett interrupted a little too much, but as somebody who's sat in the seat interviewing politicians, it's hard because you have very limited time and you're trying to get them to actually answer your question. I do think he went a little overboard on the interrupting, but he does that. And guess when he did that? in a very contentious interview he did with Donald Trump. So just spare me this desire to make everything some sort of sexist victim narrative. It gets tiring. And she doesn't need your help. She handled it fine. She didn't do any of the victim stuff. She just pushed back. She didn't let him interrupt her at times. She kept going. She doesn't need your feminist savior cringe. Just Keep it to yourself and, and stop. It's it's annoying. <laughs> and of course, the views Sonny Hostin just had to get in on this absurd woke victim game. Take a listen to what she had to say. Do you think that he approached her differently than other people he interviews? Um, uh, you know, I saw a little bit of the panel after uh, the the interview, and one uh, woman said that she came in hot and also said that she became angrier. I thought he came in hot. And what I am very tired of is this trope of the angry black woman. She was not angry. She was in command of the facts. She was passionate. Passion does not equal anger. Um, you know, I, I'm often called, uh, you know, Donald Trump actually called me dumb at, at a rally recently. Um, you have these tropes that are used against women and women of color in particular and I did not see um, a dumb woman. I did not see an angry woman. I saw a woman who understands what is at stake. And So look, I don't think Kamala was angry in the interview. I think she was assertive and aggressive and frustrated at times, but I wouldn't call her angry. Uh, and I, I don't even think she came in hot, really. I think she eventually got kind of testy with Brett, but he did come in strong and he was interrupting her. So, I, I mean, I kind of get that. I'd probably do the same thing. However, we got to stop this ridiculous woke nonsense that calling someone angry or dumb is somehow racist or sexist. Nope. Those are generic insults applied to all sorts of people every day. I'm sure you can find literally dozens of clips of Sonny Hostin saying that people are dumb or that they were angry. And in, I'm sure she wasn't being bigoted in those cases. You've got to stop. It's just ridiculous at this point. And also, <laughs> Sonny, I don't like to insult people, but I will just say this. You have said many dumb things on live television. So people who call you dumb might not really have anything to do with your race or skin color. And that's kind of just a deflection. Interestingly, Harris herself has kind of leaned out of the identity politics stuff in her campaign, which I think is smart this time around, at least. But some of her media allies and supporters don't seem to have gotten that memo. 